Hello my friends, welcome to the metal shop. So today, we're gonna tackle getting rid of those emblems. That one is a tiny little reproduction too small and the side emblems, as you can just see there, are in the wrong location. So, I have my weapons, I have a very soft pry tool here, I have some dental floss, and we're going to attack those emblems. The only thing that I'm worried about, that one I thought, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not worried about that one at all. That one looks like it should peel off fine. I double, triple checked the ones on the side there. They're not held in place with pins. They're just with 3M, you know, double-sided tape, which is fine. Hopefully we can get them off without disturbing the paint because they're just in the wrong place. So if it messes with the paint, then obviously the emblems are gonna have to go right back on in the same spot. Um, and we're gonna add the emblem in the back on the trunk, which it doesn't have one at all. I don't know, did he pick up some kind of cheap eBay? Oh, emblems for your Cobra, $29.99. But this is, you know, the little things, the small details that make the car. So let's, uh, we'll go to time-lapse and start, uh, start removing some emblems. All right, so emblems came off, minimal drama. That's gonna clean up nicely and thankfully because it's not quite in the right place. Um, that emblem is 11 and a half inches up. And I'm not sure if it's 11 and a half inches to center or 11 and a half to the bottom. I'll just kinda, we'll see how it cleans up. If it leaves any witness marks, I'm gonna cover it up. Not super critical. Let's not forget, these cars were made by humans. And I bet you, if you had five or six Cobras all original lined up, the logos would be all over the place. So over here on the side, we didn't damage the paint. You'll notice I started with the passenger side just in case I had any real problems, then I wouldn't have even bothered to tackle this logo, but it came off, didn't damage the paint. I also attacked it from the top, because if you remember, I wanted to move the logo up. These were placed way too low, didn't look right. That way, if I did any damage, in theory, I'd be able to cover it up. And I'm gonna use some very soft, probably just some glass cleaner. Don't, <laughs> do not use a razor blade. Do not use a plastic razor blade. Even those prying tools. Now, I was using them as a prying tool, not as a scraping tool. Just getting behind it and lifting. The dental floss, it, it worked to a point. It got in behind and created a gap for the pry tool, but it just kept breaking. Um, I really, what I really wanted was I had some really nice wax thread used for sewing on a steering wheel, but I didn't, I didn't have enough of that left. That would have been perfect. That stuff wouldn't have broken and it would have easily um, got out of there. The best tip I have for, for this, cleaning this, use your hands. Use a microfiber, a little bit of um, glass cleaner, some very, you know, very, you know, not really, no, no solvent, something very, very light on your finish and work it with your hands, that's all. Not a, lot of, not a lot of tools. And we'll get those removed. Oh, I like to clean the area with alcohol before I apply the logo, just to make sure that there's no wax, no grease, no buildup, no road grime, no nothing that's gonna prohibit those from sticking. Um, hold on, we'll go over to the workbench. Right. So here are the logos. This is just wrong. <laughs> I mean, that's nice. I don't know what, maybe, I'll, yeah, here, let's do this. We'll do this right now. I'll stick this on my toolbox. We'll make a little Craftsman Cobra Edition toolbox here. Because that's really, oh, doesn't want to stick. You know what I'll do? I, I will, I am going to leave it there, just because I said I would, but I'm going to give it, 
I'm gonna get a little adhesive, a little alcohol. I'm gonna clean that spot with a little alcohol. It'll stick fine. These emblems are actually pretty nice. This, I like this adhesive. These two little strips, that's nice because what I have is fantastic stuff. This is 3M, a friend of mine who owns a body shop. This is what he uses for everything. This is good stuff. I bought some for myself. Um, but the width is, it's a little bit wider. I believe that's, is it uh, three quarters of an inch? It says seven, seven eighths of an inch, it says. This thing does not want to stay open. It's really annoying me. Seven eighths of an inch. So what that means is if you're going to have a big strip and a little strip, or you could try and, I could try and cut it. It's just not, it's just not as easy. It's not going to be as easy as this. And I'm going to monkey fumble around. And with the circular emblems that I have here, let's stand by. Please. All right. So these are the proper emblems. Look at the difference in size. And look at that bright white. And this is, this emblem is ridged. It's like a, you know, cloisonne, however they say that. It's like a, you know, whatever. It's, it's like, it's like a piece of jewelry. You can feel every ridge in this and it's kind of, you know, hand painted enameled in there, whatever. Now these, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. I am going to use 3M tape. I've done this before a bunch of times. These things generally will break right off. I really need, I really need two hands to do that. Let's see here. This phone has a kickstand. Maybe, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can do that. Hang on. Just like that. Breaks, breaks the pin, break the pin right off. No problem. Nice and flush. Don't have to mess around. The originals, obviously they drilled and they you held them in with the pins and they had the little clutch back there that would hold them in place. But we are going to, we're going to break the tabs off. This, and I don't, I don't, I have a set of side emblems. I don't need to use those. The ones that came with the car, these are, these are nice. These are nice emblems. Um, solid, hefty metal. Someone already broke the pins off of those. So let's get them, uh, let's get them taped up. All right, so we got the emblems all taped up here. And the reason I did that and didn't go right to the edge is because I didn't want you to be able to see the adhesive. You'd see it sticking out at the edge if you, you know, tried to be cute and go right to the edge and get just that little bit more adhesive there. So we got that. Now I scoured the internet to try and get the proper <laughs> placement and you get nine and a half from this edge to the bottom of the logo, 11 and a half from this edge to the bottom of the logo, uh, you know, 11 and three quarters from the hood opening to the top of the logo. They're, they're, they're all over the map from the front and the back. So I chose one that worked for me. I think I did, uh, I don't remember what I did, 11 and three quarters from here to here. I like I just like the placement of it. Can kind of draw a line between the lights. Put it, put it where you want it. There's a there's a bunch of threads out there that show tons of original cobras. And guess what? Like I said, emblems all over the map. Some really low, some really high. I've noticed, stuck in my mind, the logo always seemed high. Every replica that I saw, every real one I saw, it always seemed too high to my eyes. So I'm putting it where I like it. Now on the sides. A lot more specific measurements out there. Um, measure back from the, you know, from the fourth vent, half an inch. But the consensus was inch and five eighths above the opening. That's the crucial measurement. They all said this. They all said that inch and five eighths from the opening. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go inch and five eighths up, and that mark there. I try to, I try to find center of the opening. And of course, this is, <laughs> you know. A parallelogram so I measured the center of it found center anyway it that's where it's gonna go and I leveled this by eye because trying to get inch and five eighths from from this opening which isn't perfectly level is difficult I have a very good calibrated eyeball I think hopefully <laughs> it uh, turns out great again you know, strive for perfection, then what you get, usually pretty close. Four and a half inches up from this. Some people measure from the top of the trunk down. I like right where that hit. And now I have to go, oh, I was able to clean the adhesive off just with alcohol. 
So I'm gonna do that again since I've now just put my fingerprints all over it, give you the time lapse. I'm gonna clean them again with alcohol, just rubbing alcohol and a non lint free uh, cloth and we'll place the logos and I will show you the results. All right, so the finished product. You know what I figured out? <laughs> the distance between the stripes is not the same from front to back. Um, the guy that built this out of Maine, I think I told you he was a sheriff's deputy and then a correctional officer. And I think he had this done at like an auto shop class at a high school. And I'm just noticing this right now, but look at this right here. That's touching both sides of the line. Look it up there on the cowl, <laughs> where the stripe, I, just, I didn't even notice it, but the stripe is clearly not the same size as right there. Weird. Anyway, but how I noticed was there's a tiny little gap, a little blue gap on either side there. So anyway, really like the way that looks. Um, this one is correct by the dimensions. Inch and five eighths up. It looks too high to my eye. I think most people put them maybe more like an inch, inch and a quarter up above the vent. It that looks too high to me, and I maybe maybe I'll move it. Um, I don't know if you saw. I made an executive decision here on the other side as soon as I went to place it, and I placed it. I noticed the previous logo had left some witness marks in the paint, just kind of some rubs. So I peeled it off and it did not want to come off. I did a good job cleaning with the alcohol and then using the 3M. This one, to my eye, is a little better. But peeling that other one off on the other side there, that's really not an option. This stuff is, it's on there. Um, and then you risk damaging the paint. You saw me go after it with, uh, with dental floss. I was shoving the pry tool in there and it was actually, it was peeling the pry tool. Like the, the plastic was was peeling off when I was trying between the body and the thing. That's how stuck on there that it was. Anyway, so we can turn a very simple project into a couple hours here in the metal shop, just uh, applying the right logos. But you know what? You want it to look right. You want that attention to detail. You want it done right. You take your time. And the product speaks for itself. This thing is, you know, night and day difference you know, between the shifter, the pedals, we got the, the fans now, the proper logos, it's really taking shape, my friends. So as always, thanks for your support. Thanks for the view. Give my video a thumbs up, please. Really helps the channel. Hit me up in the comments. Uh, recommend my videos to your friends. You know, you got people in the Cobra community, you know, give me a, give me a share there. All right, my friends, take care. Appreciate it once again. Cobra.